Hello everybody, my name is Vince Later and welcome back to part 20 of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now I'm in this basement or something and I'm nervous and things are chasing me and I don't know what to do. Got a lantern, that's it. Got my feet, I can run. Tinderbox! Yes! The tinderbox. What's over here? Anything? Anything trying to trick me? Wait a second. I was already here. I've seen that naked man before. Oh, great. Oh, great. No more lantern. Jeez. This kind of reminds me. I feel like I saw the scary guy right down here, but didn't want to really run or do anything about it. Kind of just want to look at him to see if he did anything cool. You just gotta run for it. That dude is scary. Wait, I've been in here. There's acid in here. Sorry if I sound a little clogged. I'm a little sick, everybody. I don't know about sick, but something's going on with my nose. Just a stuffy nose. Excellent condition. I mean, how can I beat excellent? What the hell was that? Secret door and a shadowy corner. That's how they get you. Ooh, what the hell is that? What the hell? Ah, uh, need a map of this place. This. this is the way out, huh? A fortified with a metal padlock. Fortified with a motherfucking metal padlock. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just wanna leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Tell Gabriel. Tell him. He'll put him in his place. Look at these cubbies. This is definitely a new area. And I definitely wish I had some light. Yeah. And I'm scared as shit. Excellent. Uh oh. Fuck you. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. Don't don't do it to me. Don't do me like this. Please. I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little kid in the corner. I don't know what else to do. Please, God. Don't chase me. At least I have my tinder boxes. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Is it safe? I still hear the music. I don't like this. What the fuck? This music. This door won't fucking budge. It won't budge, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Run right now, bitch.
Alright. Alright. Let's explore some more, you whore. I mean, like, I know, I just went down this, but like, what the fuck? But all you got for me is that one door, too? Excellent condition, this one's in excellent condition, this won't budge, there's nothing along these walls. Double check. Get me the fuck out of here. Nada. Nothing. Zip. Nada. Nada. Alright, this is some bullshit. Because I'm not making any progress. There is a barrel filled with fucking acid. Now I need to pour that acid on the locks, it seems. I want to go through that room. <laughs> it's my only hope. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't like this game. Why does this guy keep chasing me? I'm losing my fucking sanity. Come on, it's been a while. Come on. Enough, enough of this horse malarkey. Fuck, man. I don't even know which way I came from. You suck. Oh, wait. This looks familiar. box read something to me Daniel August 1839 the nightmares woke me in the early morning oh, I'm getting for a moment, up. I forgot where I was shortly after there was a knock on my door Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor as we drank our tea Alexander began to tell me what he knew it seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. 
Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Ooh. This game's getting for realsies. But what? There's still a guy there, man. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Okay. I don't like that sound that goes off. I don't like it one bit. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm in a corner. I don't know what's going on. Please God. Please God. That would kill me. I don't know what to do. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. This guy's not really a chaser, huh? Not really a chaser. Alright, fuck you. I'm gonna run by here. I'm out. I'm out like Girl Scout. <laughs> I'm out like... <laughs> I was, oh, oh. You fucking excellent condition, son of a bitch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is where I want to be though. We got two fresh tenders. Got a glass jar. Oh, picked up a glass jar. Oh, you know what I'm doing with that, baby. I'm putting motherfucking oil in it, or acid in it. Got some tinder boxes. We hooked the fuck up. We hooked the fuck up. I'm hiding in this corner. I'm scared as a bitch. This guy's gonna come and get me. Get my booze. Delirium Tremonome. Buttery Ablacobus. <laughs> Sounds fucking delicious. Alright, that's great. I'm trapped. Alright, guys, I'm gonna cut it here. But thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next part of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Later!